Hey everyone, this is Harlan Kilstein, and welcome. This is going to be an incredible, just an incredible webinar, because I'm going to show you how we, and that means the team, built the Doggington Post to zero to 1.2 million page views. That's what we did in the month of July, and I'll show you where we are in August as well. In case you were wondering if that was, let's say, a one-time fluke. Plus, I am going to um, reveal to you the new super site, and you're going to get to see it and, and check it out live. Plus, on top of that, for all of you who stay with me for the length of the call, I'm going to have a special gift for you. So make sure that you stay with me because I'm going to give you something that could turn out to be quite valuable to you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm here. We're going to go through um, about the Doggington Bows, give you a little introduction, and I think we're going to blow your minds um, quite a bit. So if you are ready to go, if you are ready Go ahead and, and type in, I'm ready to go. So that's it. All right. We've got lots and lots of people ready to go. And um, by the way, lots of people. Um, Heather gets on the call and she says we should have had a pool on what the new site is going to be. So that's pretty funny. Um, you're going to see some really cool um, sites. And lots of people who are on the call have super sites. That's really good. And, and they're going to pick up something and learn something that, that they never learned to. So everybody is going to learn something here, whether you have a super site, whether you want to get a super site, when you don't know what a super site is about, you just want to learn the process of what I did. I promise you, you're going to take something away from this webinar. This is going to be lots of content. So we're going to dive in. Of course, there's a disclaimer that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Uh, nobody can promise you're going to do anything. That You take the responsibility for yourself with anything that you do in life. Okay, now getting started, I want to let you know first who I am not. Okay, right now you see a finger with a thimble on it. Okay. That's about the total knowledge that I have of SEO, okay? I am not an SEO wizard. I have never built a backlink in my life. I have bought lots of programs about SEO. I don't think I've gone through any of them because, to tell you the truth, I'm just not an SEO person. So lots of people like to say, okay, you know, Harlan, you can do this because of, you know, you are an SEO genius. Let me tell you, I know next to nothing about SEO. Sometimes I can have an intelligent conversation about it, but that's about it. Okay. SEO, not my thing. Um, also, I am not a particularly good blogger. Okay. Um, if you think that, you know, I have some special ninja blogging skills, uh-uh. Um, not only am I not a world caliber blogger, I wouldn't even qualify for blog Little League, okay? As a blogger, uh-uh. Uh, just it, it, people say, oh, Harlan, you have a, like, really good copywriter and whatever. Being a copywriter and being a blogger are are horses of a different feather. Okay, they don't have anything in, in common. So I want you to know up front, I am not a particularly good blogger. In fact, um, when I write the occasional post for the Doggington Post, I probably get less readers than anyone else. So I don't have any uh, particular great blogging skills. Um, and here's the sad part. I'm not even a dog expert. Okay, there's my dog, Kalba. Um, I am not an expert dog trainer. Um, matter of fact, just this morning, I tried to 
get Kamba to stop eating a lizard. You know, they have lizards all over the place in Florida. And Kamba eats the lizards and gets sick. Um, guess how sick she gets? She gets as sick as a dog. I can't get her to come to me. Um, you know, I can bribe her with a dog treat. But I just want to show you, you know, I built this site. And um, I am not a dog expert. So let me introduce you to why I chose dogs at my niche, as my niche. Um, I want to introduce you to that little cute fellow on the left-hand side. His name is Boo. Boo is a Pomeranian, and Boo has a fan page on Facebook, and Boo has 7.2 million likes. Okay, this is Boo. Boo gets 7.2 million likes, and, you know, they don't do anything for, for Boo. That, you know, this is grown organically, all right? And just to give you an idea that you see on Boo, this was the most recent post from yesterday. All it is essentially is pictures of Boo and something cute. So the caption says, waiting for the first meal of the day, tummy hungry. And you see that 131,000 people like it. It was shared 5,632 times. And there were 1,900 comments. And the comments are typically, you know, look at two of that show, Feed That Sweet Baby, or I'm in love with Boo. So when you see that there's a market and there's a fan page of 7.2 million fans and that they're getting 131,000 likes. Okay, you're not really going out on a limb on that market. You can tell it's passionate. You can tell it's insane. Then I heard, I was driving in the car and there was a radio program on and they mentioned an astounding fact that the economy is in really bad shape. However, people are increasing their spend on dogs. Plus, in the second paragraph, that in uh, recently, Americans spent in 2011 $330 million on Halloween costumes for their pet. Gives you an idea of an insane market here. In 2011, there was spending on pets and their needs was $61.4 billion. And in this time, because of the economy, household spending decreased by 7.7%. Americans spent 7.4% more on their dogs. So... They are so crazy, pet owners, dog owners, whatever, that even if they don't have money, they will spend more on dogs. So we see we've got a passionate market and we've got a market with money. So, so please note something here, okay? Because I am not the kind of person who builds things based on keywords. I did not do a keyword search to pick the dog niche. I didn't do an SEO analysis, okay? I don't know how to do an SEO analysis. Um, I tried to find who my competition was badly. To this day, I am embarrassed when people say, oh, do you know this site? And I go, no, all right? Uh, I know some of the sites that I'm, I'm got in my, my sites, you'll see some of them that I'm going after. But do I know the big sites in the niche? Nope. And I didn't try to become a dog expert. I didn't try to fool people and say, oh, yes, um, know all about the history of that breed. Um, a true fact, we run a game on our site from time to time. We post a picture and we ask people to guess the breed. And my team always picks these like breeds that I've never heard of. So I couldn't guess. Um, I couldn't win. I couldn't even write an intelligent guess. But my niche they always get it. They know it and they'll know, oh, you know, well, that looks like a, that looks like a, a, an Irish leprechaun wolfhound. 
And someone will say, you know, that looks more like an English leprechaun wolfhound to me. And then they'll get into a whole long debate about the shape of the ears and so forth. Those people know dogs. I don't know dogs. But here's what I did know, and this is what counts, that people are passionate about dogs, that people spend money on dogs, that people who don't have money still spend whatever money they do have on dogs, and that people on Facebook love dogs like Boo. And people make huge money on sites about people's passions so why not me? OK, so I just want to give you the basis here that, you know, I didn't come in as like a dog expert. Um, as a matter of fact, we started doing the site, um, kind of got the dog at this around the same time we started doing the site. So um, not a dog expert, not an SEO expert, not an expert blogger, but I had a feeling that based on the evidence that I showed you, that dogs would would be big. Um, and I knew that sites such as Huffington Post were worth lots of money, you know, $315 million, and it's worth even more now. That's what um, that's what AOL paid Ariana Huffington, $315 million. It's probably worth a lot more now. Um, Mashable turned down two hundred million dollars okay for a site about tech news and so forth um, um here's one about sports i've talked about from time to time uh built by some high school guys this site sold for two hundred million dollars last summer okay it was, it was built by a group of high school guys who decided that they wanted to go into business together and now the um the owner or one of the owners who sold is going to build another sports site he's going to do it in the same niche here he is brian goldberg he was one of the co-founders of bleacher report he said i'm going to start another company it's going to make me filthy rich because you know his share of 200 million dollars just just wasn't enough it came to um uh crazy stuff and he says you know he points to the fact another site sold for nine figures daily candy and he points to a whole bunch of them that he thinks are going to sell for nine figures buzzfeed pop sugar vox media refinery 29 curbed mashable gawker business Insider, thrillist um and they're all experiencing record traffic and revenue okay so the market for these sites is insane okay and you don't have to be a big company to start it the only company you need to have is your own company so if you can stand yourself um you can have a site like this let me show you how it's done so this site is i don't know how many of you know it it's called tapastic tapastic decided that they were going to become the YouTube of comics. And they spread the word that if you have your own comic strip or you'd like to have your own comic strip, you can upload it to, uh, to Pastic and they will get you people to um, follow you. Now, they have been doing really, really well and it, the site is growing like crazy so um they now have gone for funding and in the um the past few months they've added over a million dollars they've added over a million dollars to um their budget because people want to invest in this site so I just want you to see that even though the site isn't even fully built out, people will go after sites like this and give you money. Okay. I personally know somebody, and I'll talk about it a little bit later, who got $250,000 from a big, big company to build a site. Um, they built the site with the, the money, and now they're going back to them and asking them for another $250,000. These are real people 
None of these is a big fancy company. These are just people with an idea um, who went out and found that there are people who want to invest in sites that we're talking about. So here are the rules of my deep thinking. Number one, none of these really big sites look like a blog. Yeah, there, some of them are built on WordPress. Um, some of them are, are built on TypePad. Some of them are built on other platforms. But they didn't look like a blog. They looked like a news site. They were all active on Facebook and social media. They posted up-to-date news. If you're in the niche and you wanted latest news, that's where you'd go. They all build passionate followings. And it was clear to me, and I was okay with, that if I didn't make $200 million, I'd be okay with 5 to $10 million. And by the way, even though the site is only 18 months old, there are numerous people who have told me your site is worth a couple of million already. And many of these are people who have already sold sites for seven figures. Okay? We're getting lots of people looking at our site and we won't be surprised. I've got some stuff to do, but we will be entertaining offers. So I'd be okay with, with five to 10 million. What do you guys think? Do you think that's okay for, um, for a couple of years? Would you take the money? What do you think? You could get by on five million. Uh, take the money works for me. Okay. Yes. Buy gold. Gold isn't doing so well now. All right. So uh, need more money, take the money. Heck yeah. Okay, maybe. All right. So let's go a little bit further. So I want to introduce you to the star. Many of you have seen it. It's the Doggington Post. The Doggington Post is our baby. It's 18 months old now. Here's how it began. This is the this was my original thinking, and I'm going to take you through it. Um, just so that you see, number one, how I worked and how it evolved. Okay, I told you I was going to show you how I built it. This right here, what you're looking at is my ultra sophisticated, this is what I thought I was going to do. And I say I thought, okay, initial structure pages listed in order of expected uses. I start on the upper right. The home page was going to have dogs in the news, a cute dog video every day. And we were going to have the lead story from different categories. We were going to divide into the following categories, dog health, dog training, fun with dogs, purely puppy, dog lifestyle, and then dog breeds. And how did I pick out these dog breeds? Uh, because I went over to, the, to my good friend Google and I typed in, what are the 10 most popular dog breeds? And the American Kennel Club answered and told me that these were the most popular dog breeds. And um, I think we cut off lab labs, but I think labs is number one. I don't know what happened to labs. Probably got cut off. But in any event, and I think I added Pomeranians because I bought one. Um, this is what the site was initially going to look at. And I started talking with my friends, people who were more knowledgeable than me about dogs. And I was looking around the dog niche and looking at other sites and seeing what they were doing. And then I came back for round two. And lots of people started giving us their ideas. Um, fashion, dog fashion, uh, dog travel, health and wellness, food and diet, natural dog, dog training, fun with dogs, purely puppy, adoption, dog breeds, and then dog business. So this was the second round, and you see, oh, gosh, this is going to be a big site, okay? There's no way that um, – uh, th there is no site like this. This is going to be fantastic, okay? Of course, part of me is thinking, how the heck am I going to get all of this stuff done? Um, and so we went to the next version. And here's where we ended up with um, entertainment, lifestyle, travel, health and wellness, food and diet, natural dog, breeds, purely puppy, adoption, training, and business. 
and you see lines going back and forth from one to another. And we're talking about where we're going uh, up at the top, entertainment, awesome canines, funniest dog, video stories, dogs in history, inspiring dogs, celebrity pets, weird and wacky, your dog's horse boat. So we were like putting everything out there. And I want you to know that this was our plan. You see down at the bottom, we had um, three people working on the site. And I did very little except stay out of their way. All right. And they would show me stuff and I go, that's good. That's good. And we built the site. It took us two to three months to build this site. It could have been done faster, but a lot of that time was spent on planning. Okay. I wasn't sitting there going, okay, how am I going to make money on this? How am I going to make money on this? I spent quite a bit of time, probably more time than most people, planning out the site. Okay. These days, I don't spend this much time planning out the site. We just, you know, ready, fire, aim, and we, we jump in. We have our overall categories, and there we go. And we worry about what comes afterwards. So here was my thinking. I needed to create a system. We needed to attract passionate followers. We needed to engage them. We wanted to become a major player in the industry. We needed to make strategic alliances. We needed to make money. And that's exactly what we did. This is my game plan. This is how I did it. Okay. I hope you guys are, number one, learning something from this. And number two, realizing that... Uh, I was, especially in the dog niche, I was not like some kind of like crazy expert who could do things that other people could not do. Far from it. Okay, let's go a little further. So here's the traffic. In our traffic, July 2013, up at the top, you see our page views was... 1.2 million page views and the visits were 985,000. That's crazy for a young site. Now, let's look at August. We're already up to 680,000 page views. We're at the halfway point in the month. Today is halfway in August. And you see we have over half a million visits. Okay. This is crazy. So I'm showing you that this is not just one month like, woohoo, we did it one month. Yay, we're the best, but now we're done. We don't have to get any more traffic. This is stuff. And by the way, if my team saw, saw this, um, they would be pretty blown away because we haven't done anything particularly special in August. And as you can see, we have a really good chance and even though it's August and vacation month of, of breaking what we did um, last month. If we do, I'll be happy. If we don't, I'll be good with it. But you see that this is a system that, that works. And I'm showing you a system that works. There is, I want you to, to, you know, to, to it, tattoo this on your brain. I'm not doing any SEO, okay? I am, uh, I'll show you my sources of traffic and I'll explain how everything works. Okay. And for those of you who are in the super site formula, this should not be news to you because this is what I've been teaching you guys. And what happens is if you persist and you follow what I've been teaching, anybody can do this. So you saw that there was a statistic there about page views. Who cares about page views? I'll tell you, big business cares about page views. Um, I walked into the office of a major player in the pet industry the other day, and we sat down and said hello, and they went, you have some serious traffic. And we were talking, we were in a conversation about them giving us money. 
I can tell you that when I was at the Pet Zoop Super Zoo show in Las Vegas about two or three weeks ago, and when stars in the industry were introducing me to people on their team, they were saying, um, this is Harlan Kilstein. He's from the Doggington Post. That's the fastest growing dog site in the industry. And we gave them a little page that showed that we had over a million page views in the month. And, you know, we ended up getting about another 200,000 by the end of the month. But the industry cares about page views. Okay. It's a really important statistic to them. So here's our number one source of traffic. It's Facebook. This is our Facebook cover page. And I'm going to show you a sneaky tactic that we're using. And it's right here in front of you. It's so sneaky. Um, our graphic artist team put up a picture of dogs behind the kennel. And we, we got this. Um, we got this idea from C's Candy. C's Candy had a box of chocolates. And for every 100,000 people, they wanted a million fans. For every 100,000 people who joined, they took something out of the box and they said, when the box is empty, we're going to give you all a gift. And so people wanted that gift and they went ahead and you know, got their friends and so forth. And then they got to a million fans and C's uh, chocolates went, thanks for a million fans. Here's your gift. Here's a 10% discount on C's. And man, people were upset. Like they were expecting like free chocolate or something like that. Well, here... What we do is we know that people in the dog niche like rescuing animals from shelters. And so when we get every 5,000 fans, we rescue a dog from the shelter. So you can see how many have been rescued so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we, th we use this technique to get 45,000 additional fans. And when the cage is empty, we'll make a donation to National Mill Dog Rescue. Now, Mas National Mill Dog Rescue loves us. And every day they say, go over and like the Doggington Post. And we get messages here saying, NMDR sent us. NMDR sent us. And we run all kinds of campaigns to help NMDR we had someone who designs very fancy purses um, uh, donate one to us, and we ran a contest um, to give away the purse, and we raised thousands of dollars for um, NMDR, and, and someone got a really nice purse. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that our list loves. So here's the number one source of traffic. Now, just to give you an idea of how these numbers translate, um, here's a typical week on Facebook. Facebook showing us, this was back when we had 71,000 likes. Um, we were reaching 2.2 million people. And we find that our numbers vary on Facebook because Facebook is weird and undependable, and they keep changing their way that they rank websites. So our typical reach is somewhere on a weekly basis we reach somewhere in between a million and a half and 2.8 million people a week okay let me say that again so that you get it and you savor it we reach somewhere between 1.5 and 2.8 million people a week on facebook what do you think um, industry people think of that? Okay, they're going, how the heck do you do it? And the answer is because we have taken the time to learn and understand our niche. I can't tell you very much about dogs, but now I could tell you a great deal. I could tell you more about dog owners than I could tell you about dogs. And for someone who's running a site, um, that's that's far more impressive to me. This is um, one of the pictures that we posted. <coughs> you 
you can't see the caption. But if you look at this picture, um, you see that um, someone has a couch and they put their furniture on the couch to keep their dog off the couch. And the dog was not stopped at all. And the caption read, silly humans, you will never stop me. And as you can see that this was, was liked um, over 12,000 times. Um, it was shared nearly 20,000 times. And look at the number all the way at the bottom, if you could see it. 1.4 million people saw this post. 1.4 million people saw this post. That's insane. Now, can you imagine what manufacturer, what product owner wouldn't like us to say something about their product? Well, I can tell you very quickly, the people who have had their products recalled, um, they don't want us saying it. But nonetheless, that's really big news. And um, we put that stuff up front and center. We cover product recalls, dog food recalls faster than anyone. Last night, I found out about, out about a recall at around 11 o'clock. I sent it over to one of my staff writers, and she answered me back, and she said, Harlan, it's already up and posted to Facebook. So we cover stuff quickly. Here's a post that went viral at the end of June. It um, Look at those numbers. It was liked 179,000 times. 179,000 times. This is crazy, okay? When we got a hold of the video, which we curated from YouTube, it had a couple of hundred views. Now you look at it, the video itself has gone crazy viral because it's been shared all over. How did that happen? Because we curated it, we posted it, and it just went absolutely crazy. Um, and there and there you see proof, okay? Um, here's, we did an April Fool's Day issue of our paper, and we had Michael Vick attacked by a vicious Pomeranian. And you may know that Michael Vick, the football player um, who plays for the Philadelphia Eagles was actually sent to uh, prison for dog fighting. And so there's a whole, we wrote a joke story about a little Pomeranian, by the way, that's my dog Kamba there in the picture. And um, um, we wrote the story about Kamba going into a pet smart in Virginia, uh, seeing Michael Vick, jumping up, biting him in the nose, peeing on his feet and running away and everybody laughing over it. Um, you could see here on the 1st of April, 31,000 people that day saw this. Of course, um, people were hysterical about this article and cheering little Kalba on. Uh, but this was just one of the articles that we posted for April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I guess we must have done something right because we had over 100,000 visitors to the site every single day, okay? People are going, man, you got to see this crazy site. And we put all kinds of, of, of insane articles up there. And we had a good time doing it. Some of them we were almost embarrassed to do. We have we have a couple of other things still up our sleeve, but um, this was viral. Or this article about uh, Purina's Beneful dog food, 16,000 people liked it. Um, nearly twice that many people came to the page. This was in January. We were less than a year old and we were getting that kind of traffic, okay, that 30,000 people came to this. One day we said, hey, everybody, go over to Purina's site, Purina Beneful's Facebook page, and tell them to stop killing dogs. And I thought they were going to shut down that page because we got so many people over there and 
typed in, um, stop killing our dogs. It was crazy. Um, this was when we were just a little puppy. We were six months old and um, Petco, the big pet supermarket, um, issued a recall notice and they issued the recall notice on a weekend and they didn't think anyone would see it except we saw it because we were insane and you know we worked re weekends and what they did was they had um put out a stainless steel bowl except they used a radioactive material so um you know like your dog would glow in the dark so we did this and you see it got 6,000 likes, so that means about 12,000 people saw it. But you see those tweets? Well, when it was being tweeted all over Twitter, some of the people who picked it up and, and tweeted it were big celebrity tweeters. And it crashed our site. Our server went down because of the traffic from this. Our, our server has gone down three times. We are now comfortable in a large home on Liquid Web. Um, the people who are in tech support at Liquid Web love our site. And just the other night, one of our uh, team uh, was on the phone with them and they went, this site is going to be worth millions of dollars. And uh, that's what we hope. So um, stories go viral. Here's a, there's a story, um, this um, uh, media guy bought a dog food company called Freehand. And one of the reasons that they bought it was that they won a, a gold medal from the Dogington Post. You see, we invented this thing called the Dogington Post Awards, and they won the best dry dog food. And their website features our award uh, for the best dry dog food. Um, Ellen DeGeneres won Best Pet Loving Celebrity, and they got permission from Ellen's people to post a picture of Ellen, her dog, and our award. We did not make that. Um, Halo Pets, who um, it, Ellen became one of the owners, um, they are promoting our site, and they are linking to us. Okay, And they were, of course, on Facebook talking about the Doggington Post and sending us traffic. It's cute how that works, isn't it? Um, and of course, we published a kosher for Passover list, and uh, they were so proud that they made it, and they, um, uh, they posted about it. So you see, other companies, when, when we do something good, they tell their lists about it, and it gets out there. So I actually created a formula. I, I, I stumbled across this formula. I began thinking about how could anybody do what I did? And I came up with three things. It's called the right content, the right channel, RC plus RC plus RC plus the right connections equals the super site. So let me run through that and, and show you what I mean. The right content. You got to know what your niche is most passionate about, okay? I didn't know this about the dogs when I started. My team did, and even they weren't right about everything. Our list, our niche taught us what they wanted to read. We give them timely information. They love that. We are the first with the news. Um, we make our fun site, uh, uh, our site fun. We make it addicting. Anybody who sees our site becomes a fan. Because if you're a dog person, our site is is like, you know, going to Oz. It's uh, it, it's just, you know, you've died. You're having a doggasm. Um, and, and so what happens is we get feedback from our followers and we correct our course to give them the right content. And we keep feeding them the right content and your site will go. Notice I didn't say anything here about SEO. OK, I didn't say anything here about linking strategies, all of that stuff. Just if you have any of those SEO programs on your hard disk, just delete them. They're worthless. It's out of date. This is working today. OK, you're seeing we're getting a million page view a month. We're, we'll be very close probably to having a million visitors this month. 
we're growing, and this is during vacation month, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. Just follow the formula and you could do it too. The right channel. Okay, so you need to connect with your niche on social media. That's where we really get our traffic from. We build loyal and passionate fans. We make the message to media connection. You have to learn the difference between Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and then you go play. And then what happens is that your fans carry your message out to the world and your site gets traffic. So that's what I mean by the right channel. And then the right connections are you start connecting with the movers and shakers in the industry. Um, they look at your super site and they immediately take you seriously. Uh, they take your message, they send it out to their followers, and your site grows because others are sending their fans to you. So all of these three things, RC plus RC plus RC equals super site. This is this is how I did it. When I was thinking about it in the beginning, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. I kind of just stumbled across it. And maybe I got like seriously lucky. But now I could produce this stuff at will. Just like the guy from Bleacher Report who made a site and sold it for $200 million. He said, I can do it again. Well, let me ask you now. Let me turn to you guys and ask you a question. How many people think that I can do this again? How many people think that I can do this again? Everybody's saying yes. Of course you can. Yes, 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 definitely. I think so. Oh, yeah. Uh, as many times as you want. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Does anybody think that, how many people here think that the Doggington Post is a valuable property already? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody's saying that. Okay. And and remember, 18 months, that's nothing for for to build a million dollar business in 18 months. It's crazy. People will tell you it can't be done, except it can be done online. So let's look at some other super sites. Now, all these super sites were created by my students or by my team for them. Okay. This is just to show you that I'm not the only one who does this. Okay. The Pussington Post. He did an online cat newspaper. Okay. And I was talking in the industry and they said, Harlan, why don't you put up a cat site? And I went, oh, a dog site. It's more than enough. And I said, have you seen my student site, the Pussington Post? And they said, oh, yeah, we're familiar with it. You see, the industry <coughs> tracks sites like this. They make it their job to know who's who in the industry. So um, this site is, is done by Kevin from the UK, and he's doing a great job. Um, everything smallmouth, all about smallmouth fishing. Site exploded even in the off season. Um, Slanted Flying, I love this site. It's all about Tai Chi. Beautiful site, beautiful articles, really nice. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is Alvero's site. He cracks me up, okay? Um, and he, he wrote that he's starting a second site. This is Fibs um, that he publishes, it's very funny. Catholic Church to make anonymous guy a saint. Um, or today's article, spy drone hunting permits expected to be big sellers. Or uh, Taylor Swift <laughs> gets no trespassing tattoos on her thighs. Alvaro, you are such a nut. He's on the call. Um, but uh, this is Fibsta. This is a super site. Um, this is Zen Lama, all about the Zen lifestyle, um, about meditation. Um, and Ron is on the call. Ron has been uh, with us from the beginning. Ron um, did a blog curation site, and now it's a super site. Uh, and he just, we're about ready to launch his product. Um, I was talking to his designer today about the layout for it and um he's about ready to start making some serious money and even though he has done nothing at all to promote his site but posting articles he's getting 
hundreds of visitors to his site every single day without any SEO at all. Okay, that's the way super sites work. Uh, Wedding Brook, this is Ellen's site, and she's doing a beautiful job all about weddings. Okay, so um, Trail Run Crazy about trail running. Um, Author Paradise, well, this is going to be a major site for everything related to publishing. Okay, and this one I am very, very, very proud of. This is a new site. It is all about now, guys. You got to hear the story, okay? So this is a site all about Rand Paul, okay? I am not a political person. Um, I am not. A, oh, Ron said that his golf site's getting over 500 of of these a day, 500 visitors a day, and it hasn't even really officially been launched. Okay, so. Um, Rand Paul is a passionate niche. And so their site is It's a Paul World. I came up with the name of the domain name for them. And um, this is um, um, this is an unbelievable passionate niche. So the guys from It's a Paul World, we get their site up partially for them. Uh, you can see it's not even finished. And they go out to Freedom Fest in Las Vegas at Planet Hollywood, and Rand Paul is in attendance. And they start showing people their site. They're wearing It's a Paul World shirts and handing out business cards and meeting and chatting with people. And people start coming up to them and doing exactly what I predicted, and they start singing, It's a Paul World after all. And by the time the 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 conference is over. There is no one who doesn't know of the site. The, tr the site that isn't even officially launched starts experiencing traffic spikes that are insane. Um, people reach out to him on Rand Paul's personal team, and they say, Rand is speaking in a private meeting. Would you like to come and represent the press? Um, sure. And he gets up, and they invite him in and he gets to ask Rand Paul a question. His site is maybe two weeks old. Okay. The next day he gets on a plane and the person sitting in the row in front of him is Senator Rand Paul, who has looked at his site the night before. And he says, um, I like your site. I just want you to know that I'm not running for president in 2016. And the guy looks up and says, Senator, not yet. It's our job to get you there. Okay. Now, where else but with something like a super site, can you start having face-to-face -face conversations with a United States senator who is studying your site? Okay. Real story real true and this is something that these guys are blown away with okay this is crazy okay um so you can see that you could choose we saw uh comedy we saw dogs we saw golf we saw zen we saw meditation we saw fishing the truth of the matter is you could pretty much do a super site about anything, but the key is, are people passionate? If people are passionate, then the answer is yes. If people are going to go yawn, then I wouldn't spend my time. So I'm not sure, but I think we're about to see my next super site. Who's ready to see the next super site? Okay. All right, here we go. I got people all over. Anybody want to guess? Anybody want to guess? Type in what you think. Lots of people typing in in golf. Tennis, baby, sex. Cats, cats, ice cream. Oh, I'd love one on ice cream. Gerbils, cats, fashion, hockey, 
clowns, planes, health-related, climate change, yoga, football, sharks, gossip, dogs again. All right, building websites, cooking, well, hypnosis. Um, here we go. Let's see if that's the next slide. slide. And there we are, the Caddington Post. Here we are, folks. The Caddington Post is up and it is live. And as you can see, our lead story are recalls. We had some cat food recalls and there we are covering it. Now, again, it's just a kitten. It's only a few days old. But the people who are seeing it are blown away because, and people have told us this, there is no competition in the cat niche like this. Okay? So we are walking in, and we will be, the site officially goes live October 1st, we will be the dominant cat site in the industry in a couple of months. Okay? Does that site look awesome or what? You tell me. I'll be the big dog in the cat ditch. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You like the way it looks? Okay. And um, isn't the Pussington Post competition? Yeah, why not? Um, the, more the, the more the merrier. But we are definitely out to go after the niche. And um, it's every big cat for himself. Here's our Facebook page. You see us. We have 32 likes and 10 people talking about us. In other words, we haven't even gotten started on Facebook, but we have our, our pictures up there. And we have uh, our mascot here is Walter, the cool cat. Um, but I just want to show you that we're starting at ground zero. Okay, we're starting at ground zero and we think that we're going to grow Caddington much faster than Doggington because we already have the experience. So we welcome the Caddington Post, and we are looking forward to um, to seeing that take off. And incidentally, okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your seats. Okay, ready? We have already been paid. We have a founding sponsor for the Caddington Post who is uh, giving us um, a significant sum of money to sponsor the site in advance of it being built. Is that not awesome? And they are sponsoring us um, with a significant five-figure investment, okay? A significant five-figure investment, and we're going to get more sponsors as well. So let's show you some, some magic, okay? If you want to be the 800-pound gorilla, here's how you do it. This is our friend Ron, who's on the call right now. This is without any SEO, so we don't do anything. So a sweep of page one in Google. A curation post on my super site last Friday has taken all 10 positions on page one of Google. We've heard Harlan mention doing it, but this is a first for me. It works. So without any SEO, what if you could do this for any niche, any keyword, any city, any time, anywhere? Someone asked me, could this work for local? Well, if it works for the world, do you think it could work for local? Okay. Imagine if you're somebody who works with local businesses and you turn their sites into super sites and you start doing these techniques and you own page one and everybody else gets mad at you because they're spending all these money on the SEO firms and you're doing it using these techniques and kicking their butt. Okay. There is no SEO at all. There are no links, no backlinks, no on-page links, no silo structure, nothing. Okay? All of that stuff, kick it in the can. You don't need it anymore. It's all about the formula that I showed you. 
Okay, now this was the number one site for dogs. It was founded in 2004. Okay, since 2004, they have 115,000 likes, but they only have 26,000 people talking about them. Um, they're very worried because in a year and a half, we have about 83,000 likes and we have like three times as many people uh, talking about us. Their reach is pretty low. Our reach is um, uh, one and a half to 2.8 million a week. And one thing that we know that the dog stir people are following our site is because approximately two days after we publish an article, it appears on Dogster. So um, we'd like to salute our competition for following us so quickly. And sometime in the next year, we're going to leave them in our dust and wish them well. Um, by the way, Dogster was purchased by Say Media, and it was purchased for um, a price that is um, reported to be um, seven to eight million dollars. So we think that they're gonna we're gonna kick their ass. Um, here's a email from a sponsor who wants to give us money, and they're talking about you know for putting on a webinar series. They're prepared to give us ten grand. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so let me show you now how anybody could can build a super site. Okay. By the way, are you guys learning anything on this? I always like to make sure that I'm giving content. Are you learning something? Okay. Uh, getting lots of yeses. Absolutely. Okay. Fantastic. Now let's go back to teaching. So here's how anybody can build a super site. These are things you should take notes on. Okay. Um, number one, the right content. Number two, the right channel. And number three, the right connections. Let's go and explain those in detail. The right content. So you got to analyze your market. Okay. Um, you have to study who the competition is. You have to start tracking the content that they're doing and begin to publish. Now we start to track the content because we want to know what the market likes and what the market doesn't like. And there's nothing that is easier than letting your uh, competition do the research for you. And then you just pick up on what, what they've done and you take it to the next level. So um, I don't believe in heavy lifting. Um, I believe in letting other people do the work for me, kind of like Tom Sawyer. And by the way, you'll see the name Tom Sawyer again. He let other people whitewash the fence. We actually have a segment of our model called the Tom Sawyer model. And I taught it this weekend and, and people were just blown away. Okay. The right channel. What does that mean? Well, on the right channel, you need to learn the difference between Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, real syndication, and viral videos. And when you use all of these, um, you start getting crazy amounts of traffic because people are social. Now, we're not doing things that, again, you're going to see things and say, hey, Harlan, why don't you have a channel on Instagram? And you know what? You guys are right. We should be doing Instagram. <clears throat> but we're, we're, we're growing by leaps and bounds. We will have an Instagram channel. Okay. Next, the right connections. Um, you identify the market leaders. You reach out to them. I've developed something that's called Lethal LinkedIn. My success rate with Lethal LinkedIn is something like 98% of reaching out to people we want in the industry and, and getting in touch with them and talking to them. Um, learning to dominate the media, becoming the leader, and then ultimately dealing with money people. People are going to want to buy your sites. You have to know how to do it. You have to know how to deal with them. You also need to know how to get people to sponsor your sites. These are all things that are absolutely critical. So people say, Harlan, how do you make money on the um, super site? And we have five revenue models for super sites. Um, one is AdSense. It's the simplest to do. Now that there's retargeting, it makes you even more money. 
very simple. If you only did AdSense, I could see people with a super site making a very comfortable um, four figure income a month. And I can tell you um, four figures, um, what is it? The 24th of the month, Google deposits a check in my account. And um, um, essentially Google pays for my um, health insurance. So I'm very happy. Um, I don't have to pay for my health insurance. Google does it for me. Um, very nice. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Google. Okay, so it's very, very simple. You just get um, four-figure checks. Uh, or There aren't checks. Four-figure direct deposits every month. Amazon income. Um, I've taught get the click, get people over to Amazon, uh, products in your niche, and then ask your list for their favorite products. Um, we posted something on the site saying, what's your favorite dog movies? They listed all their favorite dog movies. And then we turned around and we sold them to them and we made a lot of money. Okay. They told us what they wanted to buy. Um, here is um, uh, the next thing is become a super affiliate for other products. When you're a super site, people approach you. I am now staring at my computer. Under my computer is a guy who I met at super zoo and he wants us to become a, um, a super affiliate for his dog supplement products. And we have a bunch of dog supplement companies vying with each other so that we will promote their products. Okay. And what did we say about people spending money on their dogs? Right. So anybody think going into dog supplements is a good idea. So you have to know your niche. You approach their affiliate manager. You say, Hey, I'm not going to be just a regular affiliate. I'm going to be a super affiliate. You prove it to them. Then you negotiate new money agreements with them. Um, you get some, do a ha Google hangout with someone, you invite people, uh, you post it and you sell, sell, sell. You negotiate a higher commission if you do real well. Your own products, product creation for your niche, Kindle books for your niche. Um, Ellen did that with her wedding thing. And like the number of downloads that she had on her wedding book was just insane within days of, of doing it. And then this is the one that I kind of like it, it's it's sponsorship. And actually I did something called small sites, big money that blew people away that people will give you money to build a site. There's a woman I was telling you about that she got, and, and I guess I can tell you, she got Procter and Gamble to give her $250,000 to build her site. And, um, they gave her 250 K to build the site. Now the site is up. It's a video site. She used the money to get the site up and get it running. And now she's going back to Procter and Gamble for another 250 K for them to continue their sponsorship. They're thrilled with her. They have that kind of money to spend. And of course she makes all the money from the site, not Procter and Gamble. They just want to give her money. So here are five models how you can make money with your super site. Okay. Very simple, very easy. Again, this was nothing that I came in knowing how to do. These were things we just kind of stumbled across. Um, in my super site course, there are 18 segments. Week one, niche selection, how to make sure you don't get messed up at build, building your super site building your team. Uh, today, someone said to me, oh, Harlan, I couldn't afford a team. Well, when I told her what it was going to cost her uh, a week, she just started laughing. Um, it's crazy how little it can be. Week three, Facebook and Twitter strategies. Week four, email strategies and beyond. Week five, server melting traffic strategies. Again, no SEO. Week six, how to make money with your super site. Week seven, your content funnel. Week eight, attention gathering techniques. Week nine, five revenue profit models. Week 10, email lists and segmentation. Week 11, the Tom Sawyer model. Week 12, the controversy model. Week 13, moving beyond the site. This is where you become a major player. Week 14, market leadership strategies. Week 15, media domination. Week 16, lethal LinkedIn, connecting with the connectors. Week 17, people wanting to give you money. 
and week 18, breaking into the big time, how you become the, the single 800 pound gorilla in your niche. This is one that I've done once. I'll do it again. Anybody who wants can join me and watch us how we do it. I've got three ways that you can join. Um, the top level has all 18 weeks. It's the crush the competition training. You can use these techniques for yourself or let people give you money every month. You get a custom consultation with my team prior to building your site. You get an exclusive level three super site theme. You saw many of them and the plug-in, special plugins. Um, you get eight one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, but stick with me because I'm going to change that only for people on the webinar. It's a total of 18 webinars. The total value is over $7,000, but the first 25 can get it for $24.97, or you can get started with five payments of $5.99. Level two, the niche leadership. It's a 12-week program. You become the market leader, any niche, any place, any time. You get a custom consultation with my team prior to building your site. You get an exclusive level two super site theme. Um, you get a bonus of four one-on-one -on -one calls with me, total value over $4,000. The first 25 can get in at $1,497 or a three pay of $599. Now, niche, niche one, um, level one niche profits, this is for someone who wants to own the toll booth. You get an exclusive theme and plugins installed. It's a, you get um, six weeks of webinars, a total value of $12.97. The first 25 get it for $6.97 or two payments of $3.99. Now you get bonuses for joining. Uh, 14 curation methods, which a lot of people have. The blog curation program, we're giving our $497 program um, away to teach you curation if you don't have the background. You're getting our viral mar marketing formula plugin. It's selling for $1,000. Um, you get that when, and as the other plugins, when you get a hundred posts, um, I'll give you my connecting with stories program. It's $397. And this is the one that's worth a small fortune. I'm going to give you my small sites, big money program. People are using this program to get tens of thousands of dollars for their sites. I'll teach you who to approach. I'll teach you what to say to them how to approach them. Even if you don't even have a site, this program will teach you how to get big companies to pay you to build your site. And does it work? Oh yeah. These bonuses are worth over $1,900 aside from small sites, big money, which could be worth tens of thousands of dollars for you. Okay. And, and you could make that money. You could make the value of this program in one uh, phone call, which I teach you how to do. Um, now, this is a webinar special only. If you buy a level three tonight and you do paid in full, um, you'll get 18 consulting sessions with me instead of eight. So for the 18 weeks, you get a call with me every week. So I work with you every step of the way. Here's how we compare the programs. Level one, six sessions. Level two, 12 sessions. Level three, 18 sessions. Now, if you're ready to build a business, this is the definitive internet program. And if I can do it without having a background in SEO, without being a blogger, without um, even knowing anything about my niche, other than I can't train my dog, uh, you can do it too. And you could probably do it better than me. I had no expertise when I did this. Um, the expertise I had came from doing it. Um, this is the list of all the, the sessions. And here's where you go. Now, if you need a special payment plan, um, you just call Sandra at 561-395-7400, and she will work out a payment plan for you. We do not want to turn anyone away. Um, and for those of you who are not local, let me put in her, um, let me put in her, and we'll take questions. Um, let me put in her email address because she's been working kind of crazy and I gave her the day off. Tomorrow, let's go. Her email address is OTC Publishing 
at gmail.com. And Sandra will get in touch with you and work out something for you so that you can have a super site. We don't want anyone to miss out on it because it's just absolutely crushing it. Okay. Um, go ahead, check it out. Uh, Glenna, if you would put the link in, if you haven't already done it. I already did. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, at some of the questions that are coming in. If you have a question, this is the time to ask it. Okay, somebody was asking, how do you track consistently in an organized way? Um, how do we track? Um, Google um, uh, Google Analytics tracks for us. And is the only difference between the levels just the number of one-on-one -on -one sessions? No, it's also the difference in the number of sessions. Um, level one gets six sessions. Level two gets 12 sessions. Level three gets the full Monty. Um, level three, if you're serious, level three is the one that you should really do. Um, not because it makes more money, but because it's the complete picture and that's where you're serious. This is the last internet program that you'll ever need. This will become your business. This will become your super site will become your retirement. And then if you're a crazy person like Alvaro or like me, you'll do a second one, but first get the first one up. You can do as many as you want, but get them running. It takes a lot. What the truth of the matter is one is all you really need. Why am I doing it? Cause I'm a crazy person. Um, uh, somebody else is asking, should we start a Facebook page before the site looks really good? Um, there's no need. There's no need. It, you'll, you'll, you can do them starting a Facebook page. You want the, the purpose of the Facebook page is to get people to go to your site. So you want to do them pretty much at the same time. Good question though. Okay. And how much would it be to upgrade from level one to level two if they already have blog curation? Um, well, if blog curation, if you're in blog curation, this is a totally different program. It just means that you're ahead of the game. And how much unique content is being put on the super site? So, you know, that really depends um, on the niche and so forth. We are, um, we are doing, um, we're doing like a minimum of four articles a day. We don't do stuff on weekends, unless it's an emergency, um, we play with Facebook because you can time posts and stuff like that. Um, but we're pretty much a five day a week um, site, unless there's an emergency, or you can also time posts. But we're definitely, you know, we shoot for three to four posts a day. Um, some days we don't. Um, if at first you did, um, I would encourage you to do like one to two posts a day when you're getting started. And then you can have a super site and then outsource it for not very much money and get, keep up one or two posts a day. I'd love to see three or four. <coughs> okay. And how many hours a week will need to be devoted to this? Are there ex, uh, fixed expenses as well? Um. Okay. So the truth of the matter is that you devote to it, you know, you start off slow. And as you start making money, you start putting more time into it. Um, I would love to see you put into it. Well, aside from the training, I'd love to see you put in a half hour a day. Don't, if anybody thinks that this is a two hour a day program, it's in, I could never do something like that. Okay, how do you get Facebook likes to go to the site? Everything is taught in the course. That's the easy stuff. That's how we get all the traffic. You saw us do it, you know. Most of it's coming from Facebook and Twitter. Okay, and I have a 
question. Can you see this working in a business to business niche versus Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're actually <laughs> building we're building one in a um we're building one right now for a client in a business to business niche. In the I'll say it's in the employment niche. Uh, businesses won't know what hit them. Okay, and I have somebody asking, I have a 245,000 plus animal lover page and blog connected as a platform. Which package would be the best for me? Well, I believe that the full package is the best package because it teaches you everything. But you are like way, way ahead. Um, you know, you will be you will be the big dog or big animal since you have multi animals in the niche. And does the blog curation program bonus include the link to the blog curation member Facebook group? There is no blog curation member Facebook group, but there is a super site group and membership in any of the levels gets you into the super site group. Do you buy page likes on Facebook? Page likes? Um, yeah. You mean like on Fiverr buying fake likes? No, heaven forbid. Um, somebody's asking, what do you mean by being a super affiliate as opposed to being a regular affiliate for somebody's product? Good question. Let's say they give affiliates 20% for their product. If you are a super affiliate, they want you to be an affiliate. They'll pay you 30, 35, 40%. You can negotiate a higher rate because you are the big dog. Somebody's asking, do you have a special level where they understand that there are three levels, but is there a program where a niche is chosen and your guys just go and build it and get it going? We do have something like that. We're not looking for, um, um, we're not looking for lots of people on that. Um, the price if, if, of that is quite expensive. If you're interested, call Sandra um, because we're basically building a business for you. Okay, and somebody has already purchased a level one previously to super sites. If they wanted to go to level two, they should contact they, they should contact Sandra. Okay. Ooh. Uh, what happens to people who have already had their AdSense accounts canceled? If they're starting a new super site, um, Google will fall all over you um, to to give you uh, to get you back in. All you need to do is start um, getting your your super site up. Do you have a ratio of curated content versus original content? Um, and the answer is no. There's no formula. You put up um, whatever you feel like putting up. Um, you'll see if you look at it. Um, some of our posts are 100 to 150 words. Some of our posts are like three or four sentences and a video. So um, the, um, uh, th there is no absolute guaranteed formula. Just follow what we do. And somebody's saying writing articles on top of my full-time job is hard. How do I get help? And is hiring someone to write and post required? Um, well, if you want to have a super site, um, you need to have content. That's the that's the secret. Okay, you need to. This is all about content. And the bottom line is that if you can't do it, then outsource it. And I show you how to do that in week two. In addition to the program price, what would you say would be a wise amount to have to invest in the business to start? 
I've never been asked that question before. Um, almost everything is included. Um, some people like to jumpstart uh, with some Facebook advertising, um, but you can get that for, for very inexpensive, you know, uh, anywhere from a penny to 20, 18 cents alike to get started. Uh, and then you turn it off and the site just grows like crazy. Do you recommend any free curation tools or Firefox plug plugins, et cetera, that can give us filtered feeds from various sources? All gone over in the program. We show you exactly how to do that. Is there such a thing as a bad niche? Um, <laughs> no, but there are bad programs. Someone just mentioned to me that he's listening to this in Israel. It's the middle of the morning, and he, he signed up for the uh, – Ryan Dice's authority site program, and then it's all crap. Um, and he lied his ass off in the marketing. Do I want the material? And I answered no. Um, you guys who are on my list may recall I told you guys don't buy it, that it was garbage, and that I could see it was a lie from the, um, from the very beginning. So um, the bottom line is, you know, you guys can do this. Now, what was that question again before I went off on a rampage? <laughs> if there was anything, if any such thing as a bad niche. Yeah, if there's no news in the niche, if there's no passion, you know, if you're going to do something on, on basket weaving and there's nobody interested in it and, like, they yawn all the time and it's a great way to fall asleep, um, I wouldn't do that. The key is passion. That's what I've been saying the entire evening. Passion. And how long would you say, uh, giving an estimate, before a site should be expected to start making money? You know, it could happen um, quicker, but I'm saying that people are seeing money starting to come in from 30 to 60 days after getting it going. And is it possible to purchase level one and then upgrade to another level later? Absolutely. Just get in touch with Sandra. Somebody's asking if there are any upsells included in the uh, sales process. Hell no. Sorry, some of these questions are duplicates. I'm trying to sort through the ones that you've already answered. Okay, people are calling for Sandra. Just leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, I've had a couple of people ask if there is going to be a replay of this webinar. Um, that really depends on Glenna, <laughs> the recording. Hey, wait. Then yes. <laughs> How long is are these programs going to be available for? Um, well, I'm not planning on on running away or whatever. This is a program that works now. It will work into the future. Um, but I will say this. Um, I am planning on restructuring the program. And I may very well remove um, level one and level two. Um, and just leave level three. Um, it's under discussion. If you want to get in on that, um, you know, I would get in on it and then talk to Sandra about uh, making a payment plan. Um, she's under instructions to not to turn people away. But um, there's a very good possibility that level uh, one or level two will disappear. And I have somebody else asking if you can show the three levels again. Absolutely. Well, you could see all of the levels uh, if you go to the page. Everything's there. But level one is six sessions. Level two is 12 sessions. Level three is 18 sessions. This is the full program. If you can do this, even if you need a payment program to stretch this thing out, I'd rather see you 
um, to do it because this is going to give you the, the best results. And what about seasonal niches? Are those good to go into? Something like, uh, for example, skiing? Skiing, sure. There are super sites in the skiing niche. Absolutely. Because if you do a super site, there's always skiing going on in the world, you know, like in the Alps or whatever. And someone who's a passion, they're going to do that all year. Same as like golf. You know, there's a time when golf isn't... Um, isn't big but golfers are there every single day uh do you use an editorial calendar or do you just sort of uh wing the content for the site you know that's a really good question probably one of the best questions we want to take it we want to look at things that are going on you never want to miss things like Mother's Day, Father's Day. Um, one of the pictures that did really well was before the 4th of July. And we had a picture of a dog at a barbecue and he was grilling hot dogs. And he said, okay, who wants your choice, licked or unlicked? And um, then underneath it, he says, relax, they're all licked. And everybody loved that picture. So yes, you know, we pay attention to what's going on. Uh, what about getting industry leaders to write articles and do interviews for the super site? That's the Tom Sawyer method. We teach you how to do it. And that's exactly where we go. We teach you how to do it and how to make sure it works. How do you measure the level of passion in any niche? Um, lots of ways. Looking at other sites in the niche, seeing how many followers they have, seeing how they interact. Um, that's, we, that's what we teach in level one, how to, how to judge that. Let me put it to you this way. There is nobody who has gone through the super site formula and picked a niche and gotten the wrong niche. All right. I have somebody asking. They're saying Huffington Post is one of the poster sites for curation. However, when I look at the articles and news, I don't see a lot of comments before the content. Why is that? Um, well, first of all, it's... Um, 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 the, um, uh, their comments are, they have some special thing and you may not see the comments, but they, um, they typically do really well on, on comments. And while we're on the call, we have somebody saying that, who's in the program saying that they have an investor interested in their site, which doesn't even exist yet. This is what I'm telling you, that people will pay you to build this site. And how important is it to have a team of writers and whatnot helping you with the site? Well, that's up to you. Um, most of the people are doing it themselves. When you start making money, you can hire a team. If you don't have the time, you can hire a team. Um, all something that, that's very simple to do. Can a big niche support multiple super sites? Of course. Of course. Okay, and a couple of people seem to be asking if there's going to be any kind of a connection between um, whether or not they own their own site or if it's partly connected with the super site formula. No, they own the site. You buy the domain, you host it, it's yours.
and somebody's asking if the sessions are recorded so that or if they can download them so they can replay them again yes. and again. Yes. There's a membership site where you can get them. Yes. Ask Glenna, she runs it. Exactly. Um Uh, somebody's asking if you can expand a little bit on the angle of using SuperSite for local businesses. Okay, and and so the the answer is that um, when you have a site that is generating content, which Google loves, then you become the big dog in the niche. Nobody is generating content the way I teach in a local niche you automatically become the top site in the industry. Now, guys, as we're winding up the questions here, I just want you to know that um, I'm going to be taking away a couple of the levels of the super sites. I really want to see people go for the level three, so I'm going to restructure it. So this is probably the last chance to get in on one of the other levels and upgrade when you're ready. If you want to make a decision, that's, that's fine. But sometime in the next week or so, I'm going to be um, restructuring it and taking away the levels. This is the time to get in on it. If you want to make a small investment and, um, you know, upgrade later when you see how good it is. Again, if you need to get in touch with Sandra, um, the phone number, or um, email her, and she will work out a payment plan for you. Any last questions? Uh, yeah, I have one asking, if Google changes its rules and makes curation obsolete, what would be the option? Um, you know, if they make curation obsolete, then they're going to shut down the internet. There's no such possibility of that happening. Google wants you to curate. They want you to add um, quality to the curation. Um, there is more of a chance of the moon and the sun changing position than uh, Google eliminating curation. Just not going to happen. And are any of the bonuses going away if uh, they don't order tonight? Um, well, the bonus that's going away if they don't order tonight is the getting the 18 sessions with me. That one absolutely goes away if they don't order tonight. For those who do the paid in full on the level three. Again, that's... 18 sessions of my time instead of eight, that goes away tonight. No extension. Okay, and when you get investors and then sell your site, do you have to pay back anything to the investors? Um, that depends on the deal. We'll be discussing that at the end of the program. But if someone invests in your site, they typically... It depends whether they're invest. That's okay. Those are two terms. I'm just hearing Sylvia in the background. My friend Sylvia wants to get in on a super site. Um, the um, there are two different terms that I want to talk to you about. One is investors, and the other one is sponsor. An investor wants their money back. A sponsor does not. It's important to know the difference. Right now, we're going for sponsors. To tell you the truth, I'd take investors too. It all matters on, on how you do that. Obviously, if you are getting an investor, you're getting some serious money. And by that time, you should be able to afford or you should have a, a lawyer handle this. Okay? But you'll be talking. No one invests $10,000. If you're talking to investors, you're talking in, that they want to give you six figures or more. And wouldn't that be nice? 
Okay, looks like uh, last question looks like, um, are all the sessions available immediately? No, um, it, it's drip content because you wouldn't be able to process it anyway. It's all new stuff. Um, you, it, you get a session a week. Making, releasing all 18 sessions for you would make absolutely no sense. It would frustrate you. It would make your mind melt and, and you'd start to cry. I wouldn't want that to happen. This is the ultimate program that I've ever done for, for, you know, this is something where anyone can come in and dominate a niche. Just very simple. Think about it, guys, this is killer stuff. What you saw tonight, you saw somebody with no background in a niche come in and dominate in 18 months. And now I'm going to do it again. By the way, I just want to say I know less about cats than I do about dogs. Nothing. I know less than nothing. Um, and I'm going to do it again. And you guys are welcome to come along for, for the ride and watch me do it. And I predict um, we'll be there a lot faster. So come on for the ride. Do it with me. All right. I don't, um, I think we're pretty much done on, on questions. So thanks a lot, folks. Um, really thanks for, um, for being here. I'm honored that you're here. I'm honored that so many of you are, are joining me. If you're still sitting on the fence, I don't know what I could tell you to do this. Um, you know, just open this rocks and, um, it really works. So guys get in on this. This is something that is not going away. Everybody, um, Ellen says I should get Kalba a little cat sister for the first hand experience for the Caddington folks. Thank you very much, Ellen. Um, okay. Um, and the, um, do you let us know if someone else in the program has picked the same super site? Um, yeah, but it doesn't really matter. We can handle more than one. A, a super site, you can handle 10 in the niche. Okay. So, um, Every, how about a good joke before you go? I won't give you a joke, but I will give you a story. It's one of my favorite stories. The story is about a guy who loves climbing mountains and he decides he's going to tackle a really big mountain. And he is, he's doing it by himself. He's got everything. He's got the, the pylons, the ropes. He's hammering the um, the stuff into the mountain. He's hauling himself up. He's sweaty. He's freezing. He's exhausted. Finally, he gets himself up to the top and there's a plateau there and he hauls himself up like he's going to die. And he just lays there. And as he's laying there, breathing heavy, he, he can't even move. Someone comes over and says, would you like a cup of tea? And he looks up and there's Someone's standing there holding a cup of tea out to him. And he like says, how'd you get here? And the guy, he goes, I didn't see anybody on the way up. And the guy says, oh, I took a helicopter. So guys, there are a lot of people who are trying imitating what I'm doing badly. I'm seeing some of their sites and I'm just looking at them and laughing. You could try and duplicate this on your own and it would take you years or you could get on board with me and get on the helicopter. Let's go right to the top. Go to the supersiteformula.com forward slash Harlan. Thanks, Glenna. Thank all of you for being here. Get in on this. This really rocks. Have a great night. Bye-bye.